way. Yeah, it looks a bit silly to put in a diamond player against uh, a master. But, well, we haven't got another choice for today, so I'm going to record some more uh, masters soon to expand our lineup. But still, I think he does make uh, a chance. So, in the upper left corner, from Team I Quit, and the blue trunks, it'll be Razui. And in the upper right corner, it'll be our own Infinity EU's Cherry. <laughs> Just have to like... Uh, uh, um, so, let's just see what both players are opting to do. I'll turn on the names and the production tab so we can see everything that's happening. And I do hope we don't get all killed by this guy. So, Cherry has to pull a miracle like yesterday, I think. Uh, I think he's one of the strongest players though. I checked uh, Razui's profile and he's ex Grandmaster and like 11 times master, uh, something like that, something crazy. I mean, this guy has lots of experience, plays very solid, safe, and I don't think he really you know, makes a lot of mistakes. Just um, the game before, he attacked on a strange moment, I thought, which gave Roy uh, a good uh, lead, but still. Uh, the other games, I think he played uh, really safe. Yeah. Okay, so Cherry's going for the gas uh, as well. Razoe just getting it a little earlier, and and nothing really special happening right now. I, I do think we will see lots of hellbed drops. Because that's the PVT nowadays. Uh, we'll have to see about that soon. Factory coming up for Razui. And Cherry hasn't shown his tech yet. He needs some more uh, gas. I uh, could even go into a second CC, but I'm not sure if that's a good uh, decision to do right now. Well, ah, he does it. He just throws down a second uh, command center. I think that's pretty greedy, uh, because crazy we will have a good opportunity uh, for fast drops. Here it comes. It's building some marines. Building, I, oh, a mine even. So it will be a marine mine drop, I guess. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, a marine mine drop. And... If Cherry holds this drop without losing too much, uh, I think he's ahead because uh, his command center is building anyway. But he has to he has to see it coming, and he needs a good defense. I mean, he doesn't even have that much units himself. So, hey, bro. So let's see what's happening. Ooh, wait a mind drop. Yep. Yeah, uh, I just told uh, I just told the stream that if Cherry would hold this without losing too much, uh, he, he would be in a great position. But he doesn't have lots of units, so it'll be dangerous. I mean, he can't like out DPS uh, some Marines. Uh, I mean, yeah, a Medivac healing on Marines and stuff. Uh, the thing is though, um, a mine doesn't kill SCVs. It does kill one, but it just leaves the others with like very low HP. So, drop is coming right now. It has two mines, so it could kill a lot. And the armor is going down for Cherry. So, gonna most go likely up. we'll see Hellbats. Yeah, Hellbats soon, but first some mines. And Cherry 
doesn't really know about this drop. He's positioning himself to the left while the drop is coming from the top. He doesn't know about it at all. So this will be a surprise. It's coming right now. And it's all down to this. I mean, missile turret is just starting, but it's not in time uh, to reveal the mines yet or to take out the medivac. He needs to act quickly. I mean, what's he doing? Lots of SUV is getting really low HP right now, and the mine. Yeah, seven workers were killed. And already. Those were two mine shots. Uh, he should scan right now, though. He should put a worker on the turret. The turret will finish up in seven seconds. But he, oh, there he does. He does it right now. Yeah, so those mines will be taken out. He no needs problem. to do it fast. I mean, that mine. This one. The the one mine. Oh my god! Yeah, it's gonna go off, no. and another three workers die. And Razor is following this up with uh, cloak bandages. <laughs> He's killing it with SCVs. Those four marines were like, "Wow, no need to do that." that. <laughs> yeah, cloak banshee is coming. So Razor is playing very aggressive. He has his uh, second uh, command center ready though. Cherry already taking it on the low ground. Okay, so. Uh, an attack coming in. I think you won't be able to do really much against this. I mean, mine's on the high ground and uh, already a hellbat out in some marines. He just needs to be careful for more drops uh, and for the the banshee. I mean, there is one missile turret, but this banshee can still hover to the left of the refinery and kill those workers off. It can still do a lot of damage. Cherry but the widow mine is going to burrow. So if that mine burrows in time, and Razui does, if if he doesn't see it, he will lose uh, the banshee potentially. No, I don't think a mine does enough damage. Yeah, see, <laughs> it doesn't do enough damage, but it will die in one sh uh, one shot. Yeah, I should just uh, run in with marines and uh, kill it. He gets uh, two SCV two kills. SCV. So it's not really worth it right now. But if he's can yeah. Oh, it was even in, in range of the missile turret. Just mm -hmm. using two workers. I think that's really good for Cherry. Uh, let's see yeah, the since... worker count right now. It's 32 to 35. So he's still a little bit behind from the drop, from the widow mine drop. But but like... his own drop is coming in. The Hellbat drops almost at Rizzo is uh, natural, and it w uh, since there's no units there yet. The missile turret well. just finished, but nah, I don't think. Okay, we'll this won't be able to do much. I will fly into the main and there aren't any defenses there. So just the, uh, the Hellion's running into the main and he drops in the natural again. Okay, this is really good. This is really good by Cherry. This is what he needs. Yeah. So, like, a lot of the... His whole army came back. I mean, he should leave some in the main. Cherry can just boost into the main right now, or boost into the natural. I mean, the army is just at one spot at a time. Just boost into the main right now, and he sees uh, him leave to the natural. And he's gonna get some more workers. I mean, not really a lot right now, but... But it's everything, uh, every little bit helps. Yeah. He's gonna... Ooh, no, he saves he the back, that's very nice. Yeah, so his macro behind this was fairly bad, I would say, but... Like, still, he killed some workers. Let's see the unit count. Uh, yeah, he's Jerry's going up to five factories. Oh no, four. He's building another That's command center, taking his gases, and he's going into mech. So, um, yeah. I do like the decision for mech. I mean, Hellbats are so good. I think uh, Razui will also go something like mech. Uh, has a lot of. Uh, ooh! A lot of Hellions coming in right now, and these Hellbats are in a bit of trouble. I'm not yeah, sure if Cherry can defend this. I mean, it's gonna be tough. He, Cherry doesn't have much. He will have to get the Hellbats back and drop them on the Hellions. Let's see if he does that. Yeah, he does. And the Hellions will die yeah, so it's fast. Good fight, fight for Cherry, but still, he doesn't have enough. No. Razui just, Razui just overpowering, dropping the mana mule already. Again, wow. Dropping the mana mule. Yeah, this is really painful. Yeah, the Widow Mine drop just did a little bit too much damage. Dropping ah. another mana mule, and he just wants Cherry to leave right now. Yeah, he has a tank on the high ground though, so. 
Jerry shouldn't really leave yet, but he is... He is pretty far behind right now. Yeah, he's pretty far behind in supply. Not only in supply, in everything. Basically, he... Restory almost doubling Cherry's workers. Command center needed to be lifted up. I mean, you can't easily break a Terran. Because, well, Terrans have tanks and all that kind of shenanigans, but... It's... Basically... It's kind of over for Cherry right now. Even though it's it's really unfortunate. Yeah, it's so unfortunate because he was microing the Hellbat drops uh, fairly well and um, Razor wasn't defending that well, but that's why he killed a lot of workers. But his macro behind it was just too bad, I feel. Okay, he cleans up the army and he takes uh, an army supply, a supply lead even. But, but a follow-up follow wave is coming, and even though Cherry has coming. the third base done, Razoui has it as well, and they're both flying it over, and I don't know um, what's going to happen. I mean, Cherry is so far behind right now. So I, it, really, it out that. I really hope Razoui will lose this, because he dropped those minor mules way too early. And that's the mm -hmm. sole reason. I mean, he's a good player, and... Yeah, he, he was really a bit too there. Yeah, I mean... But still... It wasn't over yet. Jerry traded so cost efficiently uh, the last fight that Razui, I mean, is just ahead in uh, workers right now. Uh, dropping a lot of yeah, but those that bit of eco economy lead that he has now will show up later in the game when he will start climbing up to a 50 supply lead, maybe even higher, and then just will he will overpower Cherry because simply Cherry doesn't have enough. He doesn't have the economy to support. Yeah, but that moment isn't now. The, the production. That For now, he's still in the game, but very soon yeah, he will I, be. Uh, look at this. Razui is moving out. He can't do this right now. Cherry has equal army supply. I think, almost, and uh, Razu is just moving out like, well, I have a lead, I could kill you right now, but he can't right now. I think uh, Cherry should maybe try another Hellbat drop, that could do a lot of damage, but... Oh god, Razu is going for a triple Hellbat drop, uh, with some uh, Viking support, this is gonna hurt a whole lot. Even sieging the tanks up at this position, that's really strange. It's a good position though. I mean, you can't really... Well, no, he, he really can't mine from that base anymore. At least not effectively. Cherry that's... going to unsiege, let's see what he does. He's going that's to move really out. good position. And, I mean, these medivacs are full of hellbats. He's dropping another manor mule right at... Oh, and Cherry is sieging up and he's going to lose all those tanks on the low ground to the hellbats. No, he saves them. Still, Cherry winning this fight is insane. Yeah, Razu. <laughs> Another manor not, mule by Razu. <laughs> he really isn't picking the best fights, but he's reducing Cherry's mining time by so much on the natural base. Yeah, but look at this. He has a third running. Uh, I mean, <laughs> this is just crazy. This guy is way too confident. Even losing two Vikings to the Widow Mine. Holy hell. This game, man, this game. Cherry being on the back foot all the time, but still clinging on. Attacking again! Look at the supply! He can't do this! Yeah, Cherry has the army lead. If Cherry can can just find the, the better position, uh, he, he will be in a great done shape. So all game long. Cherry traded like 10 times more cost efficiently, I feel. And still, Razor is like, yeah, I'm gonna drop some mana mules, and then I'm gonna do this, and it'll be fine. Getting a good shot off. Mm. Should maybe consider repairing a few of his tanks because they are low life though. I think uh, the Hellbat dropping onto the tanks was a really good I idea by Razoui, but Cherry had his uh, own Hellbats besides the besides uh, his own tank, so it's it wasn't really that that of a good move. Okay, so big fight happening right now. Um, Razoui not sieging, and Cherry again. Again, gets a way better trade, I feel. Yeah, Cherry, his macro might not be the best, but... Oh, we can have a pause from Razoui. He's like... Let's see what's up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. He's like, my manor mules aren't working. 
who is this secret grandmaster player that I haven't heard of? <laughs> <laughs> Terry is like, yeah, well, you're having yeah. trouble yeah. against a diamond. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah. Jerry needs to focus though. He has a lot of idle SCVs in his in his main. He has a tank there. He really needs to. Oh, the tank's even stuck. Yeah, and that's uh, that's a pity. Or do you see? Oh, it it isn't stuck. It well, is. Well, it is apparently. How the hell can it be stuck like that? I have no idea what so fucking ever, but a big engagement gonna happen. Rezo is sieging up and Cherry has to run. Yeah, he's killing, uh, he's making a decent trade if he has the Hellbats so. though. Sieging up right now. Only thing is, um, Rezoe has a big air lead. I mean, mm -hmm. Cherry has to scan whenever he would like to see his opponent. But Rezoe can just fly on top of Cherry's army and Cherry can't do anything about it. Cherry has to keep his control up though. He's losing a lot yeah. of Hellbats and triple Hellbat drop coming in once again. Oh my god. That Only a drop. single Widow Mine in that mineral line to defend it. It might take out one of the Medivacs, but I'm not sure about that. It will oh, it actually. Uh, <laughs> but still, well, that's, I mean, but double still. Hellbat drop. And he's going to another position. Okay, he has to pull all his SCVs. This hurts a lot, I mean. And Cherry keeps losing um, Vikings to these five Vikings, I mean. Yeah, really he's, a... he's building a Thor right now to get rid of those Vikings. Yeah, I see. So, uh, there are just medivacs in Cherry's base, and he's like. Okay, so. Razui is coming from another position, which could really hurt. Trying to take a different angle, and he's going to overpower Cherry's location completely, even dropping oh. the Vikings to the ground. No manor meals this time, I missed them. Uh, yeah. He has no energy or something, <laughs> but... Yeah, that was the first really uh, cost-efficient trade by Razui. Um Yeah, he has to overpower Cherry right now, I mean... Yeah, I indeed. think Cherry did a really good job just coming back into the game. But still, more Hellbats coming in, more tanks. This is uh, over. Even if he cleans this up, it'll be GGS. I think it was very well played by our Diamond Cherry. I mean, this guy is just so good. And Cherry is really good, man. Yeah, he is. But unfortunately, not good enough. GG and Rezui takes that game. That's so cool. Yep. So, we're down, 0 to 3. <laughs> Getting owned. <laughs> uh -huh.